never forgotten. All right, guys. So I'm out here this morning. It is, um, it's about 9 a.m. Normally I'm already at the shop, but I wanted to share this just because to show you guys that not everything goes perfectly. Not everything goes according to plan. I'm currently in our X5 diesel, but beside me over here is the M5. Um, everything has been amazing. We've got like 1,200 miles on it so far. Car's been running phenomenal. Sounds good. Made the trip, all that. You saw that in part of our video. But, um, and I had planned on starting this morning. I was going to order some uh, Motul so I could have it tomorrow, do a fresh oil change on it, um, install a couple other parts that we have. And needless to say, that's not going to happen. I, uh, drove it yesterday with the fam, had it out on, you know, Sunday drive. Um, I was out here in Mustang and getting ready to go back home. Everything went to hell. Uh, I was cruising down Highway 152 here and got a low oil pressure warning on the iDrive screen. Um, gives the indication, you know, pull over, stop engine, stop car, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, this is not good. So um, I was not in a little, I was not in a spot where I could actually pull it over. Um, so I limped it here into Lowe's parking lot and uh, got it stopped, got it shut off and um, definitely heard some rattling going on. To me, it does not sound like it's in the bottom end. Um, as you know, if you've been following along, that it's got a Ford's bottom end on it now. Um, it sounds more like, you know, like uh, it sounds like it's in a top. So looking at it, I am not seeing anything that is um, obvious, such as, you know, like shattered something and lost oil and we got a physical mess. There's nothing. I, I came out here last night. I left. You know, I was upset, left, um, let the car sit in the parking lot for the day. I came out last night, uh, checking some, you know, physical stuff with a flashlight, looked down in the turbo valley, um, looking in the exhaust, all that stuff, looking for something, some sign of physical, you know, rupture, uh, lose an oil feed line, lose a turbo, lose anything like that. And I don't see it. So what I'm suspecting, just based off of the noise when I started the car, is like broken camshaft or a rocker arm or uh, loss of maybe a high pressure fuel pump bucket and it's rubbing on the cam, like maybe a ledge. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I've, I've never seen an oil pump failure on an S63 doesn't mean that it can't happen they are chain driven but you know when we built the motor we checked chain for tolerances and slack and all that stuff and everything made it out perfect um, I will say that you know the pump itself and the camshafts and um, the rockers are the original to the block so they've got 90,000 miles on them everything like I did put stiffer valve springs in it so it's kind of been weighing on me it's like okay did the valve springs make too much tension on the rockers and that sort of stuff um, made something fail. But at, at this point, I don't know. I'm currently just sitting in the uh, parking lot, waiting on a tow truck to arrive so that we can get it up to the shop and get it tore down. But uh, it looks like instead of <laughs> you guys seeing the next series of, uh, you know, throwing the intakes on the fuel pump and that sort of stuff that we mentioned, you're gonna see us tearing this thing apart and showing you guys that not everything goes to plan so um, i'm gonna drain the oil maybe even pull the lower half of the pan off and look at the pump make sure that it's it's okay take the pump off put a drill on it see if it's putting out pressure but um suspicion in mind is telling me that i'm going to have to pull it out afterwards which sucks a because we just you know we're in a busy season we don't have time to be tearing this thing back down um and quite honestly, I just don't want to. It's 30 pounds of crap in a five pound bag, so I really don't want to go through that again. But um, maybe I lost a vacuum pump. You know, I don't know. There's a bunch of scenarios like that. So uh, I suppose, you know, stay tuned and um, 
<laughs> we'll be with you guys right along the way but my whole point of this video was just to share and show that not everything goes perfect i wanted to be raw and uh and show you guys that you know stuff happens and when even when you think it's you know great and you're happy and like everything's working phenomenal and then boom it's a car i mean there's you know there's hundred thousand moving parts inside this vehicle so something happens and uh you just deal with it and address it as it comes and then we'll uh keep fighting forward all right so i got collins collision uh or advanced collision and towing either one of those uh, out here grabbing the car very careful the car's low it's got a carbon lip um man he's he's taking his time he's been real gentle with it so shout out to the team at collins and acr for grabbing the car for me and he's going to finish strapping it down and then we're going to be headed up to the shop Oh my. It's in neutral, so it'll be easy to roll off. But we're gonna need some two. I got some two by fours. It's really low. You guys know yeah. super low. I got it up there. I barely touched it. He was there with me the whole time, so it was. Okay. Probably back there on the right of that trash can. Oh, outside? You want it outside? Yeah, yeah we yeah, can push it. We'll on. get it inside. Well, um, I didn't think we'd be making this video this soon, but I guess the M5 broke over the weekend. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure what's wrong, but it's being towed back to Sweet House. <laughs> John. So yeah. It's crazy it made it 500 miles to the Ozark rally and now it died in one weekend. Never forgotten. Matt's out grabbing coffee and then he'll be here and I guess we'll take a look at it and I guess figure out what's wrong. Well, now it's stuck in neutral. No. Yeah. But the parking brake is stuck on. Yeah, I can't get the parking brake to release. It wouldn't do it. Whoop. There you oh, go. good. There you go. Now it's in park? Yeah. At least the wheel looks cool. I don't know which one it was. Here you go, though, bro. I think this is exactly what he used. One thing after another. Matt's here. <laughs> Jeez. He's gonna have to freaking figure it out. Still in park? Yeah. Hello. It's in park. Here we go. Yeah, M5, uh, something went kaboom. But I think it's on the top. Yeah. It's too, like, tinny to be low. It's high pitch. It's like, I don't know. It's very weird. Like when it's turning over, it's making noise? Yeah, so like you can fire it and it will squeal like metal on metal and then it will ping, but it sounds like it's right under the valve cover. Like I broke a spring, a rocker, uh, maybe even a camshaft. like. I'm wondering if a camshaft grab and snap. So I guess that means hopefully we can fix it without taking it out? I hope so, yeah. Uh, what I would like to do probably first, I've never seen an oil pump fail on this motor. The only time I've ever seen like oil pressure issues on just BMWs in general, with as far as the warning goes, is when I've spit turbo wheels out the back, which I don't have any exhaust, no yeah. physical leak, none of that, so I don't have that. Uh, so I'm just either, I may drop the lower half of the pan and drop the oil pump and make sure that it's like the little, so there's a small chain there. There's a chain that goes from the crankshaft to the oil pump, make okay. sure that's not broke or, and if all that looks good, then it's going to be something up top, you know, under the valve yeah. cover. I don't see it being the train itself that we put in, you know, rods, pistons, that sort of stuff. 
So, I mean, it's back. I guess we will um, get it inside. I just figured it was worth an update. Let you guys know what's going on. And this just shows that, you know, nothing goes perfectly. Um, the car was running amazing. Absolutely running amazing. I was cruising at like 50, um, just enjoying a Sunday. And got the light first, and then the noise happened after that. So, uh, not really sure. But, yeah. Hey, but the hood's painted. The hood is painted. <laughs> It looks good too. Cars, cars do weird things. Luckily though, being at a shop, you can fix it. So we'll get this thing pulled in. Next video, we'll tear it apart, figure out what what uh, went wrong, and guess time to fix it. 